So your supply kit will include, uh, you'll have a pallet, you'll have a set of paints here, you will have two brushes, and this one is inside of a thing. Whoop, Ooh, man, that is hermetically sealed or something. Look at that. Two brushes, one is bigger and one is smaller. And then you'll also have a magnetic heart. So we've got, uh, we'll have the front is a paintable canvas. The back is a magnet. And we're gonna be painting this uh, canvas side. And the project we're gonna be making today is uh, based on this uh, heart design here. I kind of based my original off of I Love Lucy. Um, and we'll be doing, I'll be doing a kind of a different version of this. I spent a lot of time with the lettering on this one. So we'll be, uh, we'll do a little uh, less on the one that we're gonna be uh, for the demo today because it took me quite a while to do this one. So first off, uh, we're going to go ahead and put this one away. Put my canvas down here. And up first, what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix some paint. And we have just enough paint in these uh, containers here to uh, probably finish your project. So you don't want to waste paint on this. You uh, want to be sure that you use every bit of it as wisely as we can. So I've got some white here. I'm going to scoop it out with my big brush. Put it down in my area here. Boop, boop. Also, other things you should have in your area is a cup of water and a paper towel. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is uh, take some red out of this. I'm just gonna kinda scoop it off of the lid here. I'm gonna add that in there. We're making pink. We're making pink, y'all. All right, so once I get a pink color that I'm happy with, I'm going to go ahead and start painting my canvas with this. And you want to be sure that you get in all of the little holes here, all the little canvas holes. And if you notice, I'm even kind of keeping uh, my paintbrush strokes sort of heart shaped here as we go through it. And I'm working pretty quick because I want this to stay wet so that whenever I do my blend, it'll be a nice wet on wet blend. So you notice this part that I got a little bit more red in here. Uh, that's okay, we're gonna want some variety in our color mixing there. So I'm gonna mix a little bit more red into this over here. A little bit more, so I can get a darker pink. And I'm gonna work that into the edges here. What I'm going for is kind of a nice uh, faded look that kind of fades as it goes toward the center. Yeah, and as long as my uh, original paint that I put on there is wet and this paint is wet, you can get those nice kind of uh, blends going on there. So see how that kind of has a nice gradation as we go through there, Look nice and smooth. We'll keep it going smooth that way. All right, so now I've got a heart that kind of fades from a deeper red to a lighter pink in the middle. I'll put a little bit more red on the outside there. So we want, when we put our lace on, we want to be sure that that pops nicely. We want it to have a lot of contrast. All right, 
so with this little brush here, you'll notice that it is kind of pokey. Ouch. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna dip that in the water there. And we're going to kind of loosen those bristles up a bit. And then you should get a little bit of flexibility out of it. They, they uh, for presentation, they'll, they'll often dip those in like a glue or some sort of a thing to make them nice and stiff so they look good in the package. But we want to kind of smooth those out. And then what I'm gonna do is uh, to do the lace edge like we had in our um, original piece here, I'm gonna show you the technique that I did to, uh, to create that lace edge. So I'm making these kind of whoop whoop kind of shapes here. It helps if you go whoop whoop even. I'm always telling people use sound effects if they help you create art. So I'm making these uh, sort of semicircle edges here. All the way around. So once I've gone all the way around the edges here, I'm going to now make a line that goes right here uh, and touches on the edge of that lace there. Lacy heart. And feel free to make whatever project you want. This does, you don't have to make exactly like mine. You can mix all kinds of colors out of red, white, and black there. So then what I like to do is put a little stitch in between each one of these. So that's sort of my lace pattern that I did there. Um, and then what I'm gonna do is, is decide uh, what it is that I want to write on my heart. I'm gonna do something a little simpler than I love you this time because I want it to, uh, I don't wanna spend too long making this video here. Um, I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna make it say sweet. So um, I'm going to first kind of plot out where this is gonna go. Um, and sometimes when I'm doing these, uh, types of, of things I'll even like to consider uh, how long the word is and do the middle two letters and then build out from that. But since sweet is such a short, short word, I'm not gonna worry about that. I'm just gonna kind of paint that in here. Reminds me of Candy Crush. Whenever you would get a good crush, it'd be like, sweet. I'm going to do is I'm going to put some drop shadowing in. So what I do is you imagine that I take this word 
and offset it and kind of put it behind that word. So you're going to have these um, shadows that pop out underneath of it. Much like you see in this right here, we're going to be doing this red part here. So again, you're going to be using your little tiny brush, 